Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing some much needed washi organization because y'all, it got to the point where I was looking for a specific roll of washi and couldn't find it because there's washi in the bedroom, there's washi in the office, there's washi in, literally there was a roll of washi in the bathroom on the counter. Don't, I don't know. So it was getting to the point where I was like, okay, I really need to go through this. I need to de-stash some that I know I'm not using and you know sell it or give it to someone so i thought it would be a fun opportunity for a video i know i like to watch organization videos so i thought uh you guys might too so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it but what we're going to do uh, during this video is actually uh, answer some questions that i received over on my instagram account which is at planning with cass be sure to go check that out i just hit 1200 followers thank you so much for that um, so I would appreciate it if you would follow me over there and you can participate in polls and um, things where you ask me questions that can be used for YouTube videos and see my stories and all that good stuff. And I've been working hard on creating reels, which is fun sometimes, but it can be stressful. I'm trying to make it more fun. I need to learn to batch uh, batch film reels a, a lot more. So anyways, we're going to answer some questions I received over there. So, the first question I got from Her Glam Plans is, what is your favorite movie? And I haven't thought about this ahead of time. And this is a hard question to answer because it's really hard to choose just one. But off the top of my head, Goodwill Hunting is my favorite, I guess what you would call like serious movie. Um, my favorite comedy is School of Rock, hands down. My favorite animated movie is Toy Story, the first one, hands down. I know that that is totally clouded by nostalgia. Toy Story is the first animated movie I ever remember watching. So I just, it's, I have a very special relationship with Toy Story and I don't think anything's ever going to bump that out of that spot, but I do love a lot of different movies, but definitely Good Will Hunting, School of Rock, and Toy Story. That's what I'm going to give you. I can't choose just one. Okay, next question here is from Darling Kim Plans, who is also one of my patrons. Shout out to you, Kimberly. She says, no questions, just letting you know you're amazing. Thank you so much. You're amazing too. Wild with Headphones asks, favorite black eyeliner? Now this is, okay, this is funny that you asked this at this time because I, you know when your eyeliner gets to the point where it's kind of like, you've had it for a little too long and it starts to irritate your eye and you're like, yeah, this is probably not good. I need to go get a new one. Um, I gotta say that the e.l.f. no budge eyeliner for my waterline, I really like um, that one just in black. It's called no, no budge, I think. Um, and then the, um, as far as like liquid eyeliner for doing, you know, wing liner and that kind of thing. I don't really have one anymore and that kind of upsets me so I want to ask you guys to please leave in the comments what's your favorite black eyeliner like a liquid liner I'm currently using the um, the hip dot it's like the the two-ended liquid eyeliner that came with the three cheers the MCR um, collab and I've been using that because that's what I have and it's fine um, I just I don't know I'm looking for something that's a little bit more like deep black and also matte, like a matte finish. Cause this one's a little bit of like a glossy finish and I don't really like it. So if you guys have any recommendations for liquid black eyeliner, uh, please leave them in the comments. I would appreciate it. Uh, but as far as like the, you know, like gel eyeliner that I use in my waterline and sometimes just on the top of my eye to just kind of smudge out. Um, I really like the elf. I, I believe it's no budge. I'll leave it in the, um, in the comments or in the description box somewhere down there um but yeah i don't like to spend a lot of money on eyeliner um particularly gel eyeliner and if i can find something drugstore that i like i will definitely do that so the elf one um i've also used the wet and wild i believe it's called like breakup proof i really like that one as well so yeah okay so uh daisy doodle shop which you should also check out Daisy on YouTube. I will put a link to her channel in the description. She has a really cool channel and you should definitely follow her on Instagram as well. <laughs> she says, 
Can I ask you multiple questions? Absolutely. What is your favorite pen for writing in your planner? Man, that is a loaded question. <sighs> I've got to say that it changes. And just like, you know, the layouts that I do every week, it really depends on my mood. But I would have to say, as of right now, again, it changes a lot, but as of right now, it's the Sharpie S-Gel. Um, as far as black ink, and then as far as white ink that I'm using on the um, blackout pages from Lights Planner Action, my favorite is currently the Pentel Milky Pop in white. All these questions now are from Daisy. What washi tape in your collection is your favorite? Great question. Very hard to choose again, but I have got to go with... I don't know if I can even choose just one. Actually, you know what? Yeah. The middle finger washi from the Honeybee Shop. That black one that's up there on the left. Um, you'll see it in a minute. The middle finger washi and also pretty much all of the clear bat bow washi from the Honeybee Shop. I am obsessed with clear washi. So, if I had to choose just one roll of washi out of this entire collection, I would definitely choose a clear one, and I'd probably choose the thick uh, Batbow Magic washi. I think I'd have to go with that. What's a planner or planner system you've always wanted to try? Great question. I would have to say Ringbound. Um, at this point, I don't have a need for a new planner. I really don't. If you've seen my uh, planner stack video, I'll put that in the cards. Um, I'm up to like eight planners at this point. I really don't need anything new and I don't need to spend money on anything new and I'm very happy with my setup. But I would eventually like to try a ring bound planner. Um, maybe, you know, once my, um, my budget planner runs out or I don't know, just I'd like to try ring bound at some point. It's just kind of overwhelming for me to jump into a new system because I know I'm going to have to spend money. I'm going to have to get the punch. I'm going to have to get new inserts. So, um, but definitely ring bound. I'm interested in trying. What's your favorite enamel pin that you own? Great question. Again, very hard to choose just one, but actually my favorite is sitting right next to me on that acrylic um, clip stand from uh, that one babe box. And I use it for pins because I actually saw Daisy use it for pins on Instagram. But I'd have to say my favorite enamel pin is the bloater pin from The Last of Us. So I'll put a picture on the screen. Um, I just, it's just such a beautiful pin. I think it's really cool. Is there a limited edition planner item that you missed and regret it? So basically, do I have FOMO for, <laughs> uh, for anything? As far as planner items, I don't really think so. I don't, I can't really think of anything um, that I missed that I'm like, oh my, actually, actually I lied. Um, actually I lied. However, it's coming back and I ordered one, so it's okay. But the blackout sticker book from the Honeybee Shop, um, from the advent calendar, I wanted that so bad. Like, so bad. Uh, but it's coming back and I ordered one. What's one of the most challenging skills you've had to learn in your content creation? Oh, goodness. Great question. Um, I would say, with content creation, one of the most challenging skills I've had to learn is learning... This is going to sound... This might sound stupid, but is learning how to work smarter and not harder. I tend to um, make things harder on myself than they need to be. And I've realized that when I'm feeling good, when I feel like I look good, uh, when I'm having a good day and I have time, I need to batch create more content, uh, create a bunch of reels, you know, batch film YouTube videos instead of trying to break it up throughout the whole week because I just can't do it uh, with everything else going on. And then if I try to schedule a day for, you know, batch filming and then I wake up and my mental health is in the trash, I'm not going to film just a film if I'm in a bad mood. So, um, yeah, I would say definitely working smarter, not harder. Working on time management when I'm trying to manage a full-time job, um, a part-time job, and then this. As well as, you know, family life and hobbies and all that other stuff. 
And the final question is from Queen's Fancy Plans. My friend Queen asks, why are you so awesome? Why are you so awesome, Queen? You guys, go check out Queen's YouTube channel. Um, she hasn't uploaded in a little bit. She's taken a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube, but she has tons of videos on there that you can binge watch. So definitely go binge watch her content. Go check out her podcast, Fancy Plans and Things Radio. It's amazing. Definitely go check that out and follow her on Instagram as well, Queen's Fancy Plans. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel so much better having all my washi organized and back in the drawers. Um, I'd kind of deviated from using the drawers for a bit and I'm excited to be using them again and also my washi stands from the honeybee shop. Um, and I know that there's at least two rolls of washi that I could not find when I was filming. They're around somewhere and I'll find them and add them to the drawers. I just, you know, like I said, washi's everywhere and I'm still working on organizing all my planner stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you have not. Check out my Patreon, uh, my, my podcast, Pixels and Planners Podcast. Uh, again, follow me on Instagram. All this stuff is in the description box. Um, and if you are interested in trying out Passion Planner, I have I am a Passion Planner ambassador. I have a code CAST10 that can save you um, some money on Passion Planner. And they just came out with a new release. So if you want to uh, check that out, you can actually save 20% for the next week um, because it's a new release. It's kind of a special deal. So you get 20% off, which is really great. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye!